Hello friends. In this video, we will explore Miniasm, one of the long read genome assembly tool. So uh, today's topic will be uh, first we will walk through Miniasm and, and its features, followed by looking into the installation process, and then we will see how assembly steps, different steps of assembly, and then we will have some hands-on session to see uh, the Miniasm, uh, how to do assembly using Miniasm. Okay, uh, so apart from Miniasm, there are uh, long read genome assembly tools like we have already explored Sasta, Fly, and we have one more WD, WTDB G2. And as usual, we will be comparing at the end like these four tools. So uh, Miniasm is a very fast OLC based de novo assembler for noisy long reads. Okay, so what is OLC? OLC is like overlap layout consensus based approach. That means first step we need to find the overlap between reads like which reads is overlapping with other reads so that overlap information will be used in the uh, L for layout to generate a contig layout and then using the uh, next step we find the consensus sequence so this OLC based approach uh, is the miniasm is based on this OLC based approach so basically it takes all versus all read self mapping you know data as input so uh, it doesn't so uh, and so for that we will be using tool called minimap2 so which does this all versus all read uh, you know self pairing overlap information and basically it generates the minimap will give uh, that overlap information in paf format we will see that and uh, that file will then be uh, will be in the input to miniasm in miniasm will then do the you know stitch those reads to generate the uh, unitic sequences in the form of assembly graph so the output of miniasm is at the gfa format so it takes the input from minimap to okay minimap and then it uh, results the output in the gfa format okay so uh, it's important to note that it is different from all the other assemblers uh, that it does not have a consensus step okay so that's why after miniasm we have to use some third party tools like recon minipolis etc which uh, will help us to uh, generate the consensus from the miniasm output so miniasm output does not have the consensus step okay so basically it simply concatenates the pieces of read sequences to generate the final unitic consequences that's why the per base error rate which is found in the you know raw reads will be propagated to the final uh, output okay and again the disclaimer by the tool is that uh, it is in early development stage and it has only been tested on a few dozen of pack bio and oxford nanopore bacterial data set okay so this is the tool uh, link of uh, the tool miniasm and the installation is very simple we need to clone the repository and then install it so we need minimap2 okay which will give that uh, you know read to read overlap data which miniasm require so we need to install minimap2 also so basically you clone the repository and change into the directory and type make to install it similarly clone the miniasm repository then change into that directory and finally uh, you uh, type make to install it so uh, the assembly steps is similar like first once we have the sequencing we get the raw data the raw data is then converted to fastq format using you know uh, some tools like guppy and other tools and once we have the fastq file we before you know proceeding to assembly we first check the quality and do the cleaning okay and once we have the clean reads available the first step we need to use minimap2 okay which will take this first queue file and generate all versus all read self mapping okay so that means it will try it will find out uh, the overlap between reads and it will give us in the pf format then we will use miniasm for assembly and it will result the data output in the GFA format. So we will write a small awk script which will uh, convert the GFA to FASTA format. And once we have the FASTA file, we can then use QUAST to check the assembly statistics. So we need now four steps we will be doing. So the first step is like minimap2. Okay, so that means to generate the read overlap. So here uh, the first parameter like uh, we have to use the preset like what kind of data we are inputting. So if it is since we are using an ONT data, so we will be using ONT. And what is AVA? AVA means you know read overlap. Okay. So if if you uh, if you if your data is packed bio, then you have to use AVA PB. Okay. Similarly, some other parameters are like map PB or map ONT is to uh, when you want to map the reads against some reference uh, you know uh, sequence so so in that case this parameter can be used since here we are using overlapping information so we will be using ava ont 
then you have to give two times first key file because uh, we are uh, finding the overlap between among themselves and then the the results can be compressed to finally generate the uh, output file so before this this folder has to be present so we will be creating this folder first then we will be running this command okay so uh, okay so first step is like let's create this folder okay so now uh, we have this file this is the first queue file okay so let's create uh, a type mkdir and create this output folder okay so now we have this output folder ready so now we can copy this command okay minimap to okay hyphen x ava ont is the preset now we will be using the first queue file which is demo dot first queue file and you have to give two times so first and again the same okay so now rest everything is same so that now it will generate the pap format okay so it may take some time so basically what it does like it tries to you know find out different singletons then it tries to uh, find out uh, overlaps and we can also tune those parameters okay it finished so now if we go to minimap output so you will see that we have this path.gz format okay so now this can be now input to the next step okay so in the next step what we do so this output will now become the input to this step so miniasm uh, you have to give the first queue file first hyphen f so and the uh, overlap file this thing and uh, redirect the output to the miniasm assembly and miniasm.gfa again this folder needs to be present first so we will first create this folder then we will run this command so let's copy this folder name output folder name now create this folder so we do not have so mkdir and type this folder so now we have created this folder miniasm assembly folder which is blank at present so now let's run this command okay so the first queue file we have to substitute with the first queue file that is demo dot first queue file and the out this is constant and this will remain same okay so again it will uh, uh, run it so it will try to the read mapping information finally it gives the output in the gfa format so now let's go to miniasm folder and let's see the output so we have the output in the gfa format so now uh, we need to convert that gfa format to fasta format so this is a simple awk script which we can use it okay so let me replace the single quote over here because i'm copying from google chrome so uh, this quotation mark uh, changes so i am just replacing it with you know proper single and double quote so now you see we have the miniasm dot fasta then let's see how many contexts are there you simply grep and uh, type wc minus l so now you see there are 11 contexts are there okay so now what we will be doing we next since we have the uh, you know uh, as a fasta file ready we will be using quast command to uh, generate the quast statistics so we'll go back okay so now so first the command is simple first we need to say the path of quast in my system it is present in this location okay quast location then output i'm giving the output here output folder here we, uh, even if this folder is not there it will create automatically and the miniasm.fasta is located over here so i am giving that okay so now it will run uh, the quast analysis so let's go so now the quast folder is over here open the report.html okay so let me zoom it so now you can see again without we are not using reference all the statistics are without reference so total number contexts are 11 and with different you know base pair you know threshold you can see there are six contexts are there which are having you know greater than 25000 their length and two contexts are there which are having a length greater than 50000 base pair and what is the largest contact largest contact is around is a 5 lakhs 54000 so this this is the largest contact and total assembly size is also higher 958486 and when we apply different base pair threshold how the assembly size changes and the n50 value is you know 554897 that means this is this length and beyond that you know any contexts are there if we add it that will uh, you know so that constitute the 50% of the assembly size 
Similarly, N70, L50, L75 values are there and the assembly GC content is around 45.9%. So the cost also gives the plot, so the cumulative length plot, you can see uh, the x-axis 11 contigs and the y-axis is the total contig length, so that will around this much it will comes. And the nx plot is the, you know, n plot, so different levels are there, so now n50 values we can find it comes over here, so n50 value is around 5,54, that is the n50 values. And the GC content is slightly, slight peak we see over here and some stretches are over here. But if you go by contig wise, so you will see just, you know, two uh, peaks, like, you know, one is three contigs between 40 to 35 percent and uh, eight contigs are there, which are GC content between 45 to 50 percent, okay. So, uh, this way, uh, what we did, like, we used uh, Minimap 2 to first generate uh, the raw assembly. Then we used Miniasm to get the assembly, sorry, Minimap 2 to use to find the overlap, then Miniasm for assembly, then GFA to FASTA, then we used Quast. Okay. So this way, uh, you know, this tool is uh, useful, but again, important thing to note that it does not have a consensus step. So that means it is just the, you know, unitic sequences. So later on, you can use uh, other tools like, uh, you know, mini polish and other tools can be used, which will help us to uh, polish this, uh, you know, and more uh, find the consensus uh, sequences. Okay. So, yeah, thanks for watching uh, this video. And uh, if you like it, so please like this and uh, subscribe to our channel if it is, if you have not yet subscribed. And yes, of course, press the bell icon to get the notification. Thanks for watching.